<laughs> it's like, what were you doing with my drapes? The drapes that were hanging in the apartment. I never got the answer to that. Hi, this is Carrie from Sky Properties, and today we're gonna to talk about holiday leasing and why it's so hard. Well, for starters, no one wants to move over the holidays. You wanna relax and enjoy yourself, and moving does not seem re relaxing or enjoyable in any way, shape, or form. We make a very big push to have everything leased by the end of October, if at all possible. Of course, you can't control all of your vacancies, but control the ones that you can. I try when I'm doing a lease up not to have leases expire in November or December. I'm actually okay with January 1st, February 1st. Also, um, going into the holidays, November 1st is a hard time to lease. People are already starting to think about the holidays and prepare for the holidays. Not to mention every store has all their Christmas decorations up by November 1st, reminding everyone that it's the holidays. I know that some people don't like to advertise during the holidays because they think it's a waste of money and that their unit's going to sit vacant anyways. I don't recommend that. At least hit all of the free websites. Think, of, think about running a Christmas special first month's rent plus their deposit and then get their second month or December free. Think about being creative with your specials. Think about um, the best and quickest way to rent your unit. You want to look at your competition closely. You want to be very competitive. You want to underprice them by $5, $25 if you have to, discounted parking or something like that. But you want to stay as competitive as, po as possible. You want to lease as quickly as possible and try to avoid a vacancy over the holidays. You know, there's so many different incentives out there. I think the important thing is that you don't make your incentive like everybody else's. Clients will often ask me, well, what should I do? Should I lower it by this amount? Should I offer a month free? Should I give a $500 discount? Should I do a gift card? I tend to not like to lower the price because I, when I'm pricing these units, I do price them as high as I think the market can handle, but I also don't overprice them. So I try to make the price as fair as possible and people will pay for a good unit. And that's one of the things I really think where the manager comes in. You want your manager to tell them why the apartment's worth that amount and why it's better than anything, any of the competition out there. Again, having an educated manager for something like this is super important that they know the market they know the competition and they know um, what they might want to offer as opposed to another building that's very close as far as unit size, price, etc.